The importance of knowing who you are and who you serve and how you communicate that to your people. Hey there everybody, Melissa Rose here, your visibility coach where I help my brick and mortar and service-based businesses crush their next six figures in business. And if you've been around a while, you may have noticed another tweak in my messaging. We are always learning, right? We are always pivoting. We are always getting better. I wanted to share with you a little bit of my story in this pivot because it is hard to do. I'm a personal brand. My brand is Melissa Rose. I am super passionate about what I do. And when somebody asks me to change, it's hard. And I want to share my story of that so that maybe it can help you. For those of you that don't know or are new, I am a business coach, a visibility coach that helps brick and mortars get more people coming in their doors. And my goal for doing that, for getting the word out, was through my podcast. And in, and in 20, uh, 20, 2020, January, I started my podcast, In the Nitty Gritty. I love the name, In the Nitty Gritty. We were going to get in the nitty gritty of business owners, female business owners who are running businesses, raising kids, and juggling all of life's offerings. And I just wanted to have conversations with people and get that and learn learn from them, have them share their wisdom to the community. And I loved it. I love learning from them. I love getting to know different people and different businesses. I loved how, how they shared their resourcefulness and how they shared their grit. I really liked it. However, when I signed on with my current business coach, um, I signed on purposefully for my coaching business. And she said, Melissa, I don't know what you do based on, based on the graphic of your podcast. And I, that was hard, okay? That was really hard because I really liked In the Nitty Gritty. To me, it said everything, In the Nitty Gritty. But who was I, okay? So it talked about In the Nitty Gritty. You could infer In the Nitty Gritty what life, business, and then it was even more vague with what I do. Am I a life coach? Am I a business coach? Am I a therapist? Do I sell essential oils? Do I, what do I do? So I, I was able to go, okay, you're right, completely right. So then I tweaked the name of the podcast in March and then it became Rebel Women. And the reason Rebel Women came about is because I asked my personal people, my people in my tribe, like my mastermind people here in my community, and one of the people said, Melissa, when I think of you, I think of rebel woman. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. That is so me. Yes, that's so me. So me. And I'm like, yes, rebel women. They are big. They are bold. They are brave. They are stepping out. They are courageous. They have audacity. They think big. They are just going for it. Yes, that is who I want to talk to. So the podcast was rebel women the Rebel Women podcast for business owner for brick and mortar businesses who want to crush their next six figures in business. <sighs> and that happened this past March, 2021. And I initially I had some bumps in, in podcast downloads, but then because I track it, I noticed I was getting lower and lower. And I'm like, this is not good. This is not the direction we want things to go. So go back to my business coach. And I said, what am I missing? What am I missing? I am doing exactly what you say. I'm putting out good content. I'm being consistent. I'm promoting. I'm networking. I am doing the things. What am I missing? She goes, Melissa, I still don't know what you do. I go, oh my gosh. What do you mean? What do you mean? When I, it says right in the description, like if you go to iTunes and you go on the description of my podcast, the first line is, I'm a brick and mortar, for all my brick and mortar boss babes, um, I'm your visibility coach. Like it's right there. And then if you search brick and mortar in iTunes, my podcast comes up. It's like three, okay? So why, why am I not being, why isn't it clear? She goes, Melissa, the tile, the graphic tile, Rebel Women, does not tell me who you are and what you do and who you serve. I was like, oh, ouch, ouch. Cause I really like Rebel Women. Rebel Women are, is my tribe. I have Rebel Women live events. I have Rebel Women workshops. Like I have created this whole brand around Rebel Women. I just loved it, but she's right. 
And you guys, that was last week and it took me, I'm a quick start, okay? So I do things quickly. I, I can't move forward until I get it done, right? So that's how I am. I knew I needed to get this figured out quickly because I, I didn't wanna do another podcast with Rebel Women if that's not what I was gonna call, call it anymore. And I'm, but, but <laughs> I did not want to be the brick and mortar, brick and mortar visibility, your visibility coach. Like I did not want to label it brick and mortar visibility coach. That's not, I was like, I am a four on the Enneagram. I'm a dancer. I'm a creative. I like to do things a little different, even though sometimes that hinders my business. So I just really needed to, okay, Melissa, what do you want to be? So I created two graphics. I finally narrowed myself down to two different graphics and I uh, gave it to my people in my community my and my current clients. And then I also presented it to my mastermind ladies that I am part of in my coaching group, okay? Now, my community, they know me personally. They know me as Melissa Huber in town because I'm that's my last name. I go by my middle name, Melissa Rose. And um, they know my kids, they know, they know me. These ladies, over here, they just learn to me and they just know my business, okay? My people who know me, they hated the name change. They're like, why are you doing that? It make, why are you niching? Why are you so specific with brick and mortar? That's so pigeonholing. That's so limiting. That um, I don't understand why you're doing that. People in my mastermind, they were like, exactly. I know exactly who you are now. I know exactly who you serve. I know exactly what you do. And my peeps, my peeps here in my community that I love, they don't see the vision of where I want to go. I want to be a national brand, international brand. I want to have clients from all over the world. I want to take my business and do it from anywhere. I want to grow this in a way that they don't understand. They just know me personally as Melissa with five kids and running her dance studio and she's got this thing that she does. So the new podcast name, Brick and Mortar Visibility, be the only option in town.